Hello, Tansei. Bonjour. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, and welcome to Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. I'm your host, Dallas Arcand, and this is my daily class that I do every day with, with all of you ever since this pandemic started. I remember when I started this class, it was uh, the spring of this year, and we're almost through the year, and I figured I might as well keep going. I, my goal is to have 365 classes available, and who knows where it's going to go from here. But this is my commitment to not only myself, but to each and every one of you and to encourage each other to work out on a regular basis, to continue to work on ourselves, and for me to keep keep um, in shape, working on myself as well. This is a non-stop, relentless effort to to just stay in shape and to just keep fit and have fun and all that stuff. Uh, I woke up a little late today, so I was up late last night, had a late supper, jeez. Um, had a fire, it was nice. It was, uh, it was just uh, different altogether. So anyways, I'm, I'm here, it's Friday. Uh, I wanna just get started and get into the program. And every day, is um is a new day and it's time to take on a new challenge so right on oh right on i already got some some stars this morning thanks roxanne right on roxanne <laughs> i don't know how many times you ever heard that <laughs> every time somebody says roxanne you know the song anyways i hope you guys are doing good and i hope you guys are ready to to jam out get your um, your little weights here and we're gonna get it started with a couple of warm-ups so I'm just going to go right into it. I'm not going to do any quotes today. I'll, I'll save that for later. Because I talk too much at times. Okay, so let's get started. The best way to get started is just to get started. <laughs> so here I am. Start off with a basic step. Right, left, one, two, step, and right, left. One, two, step. There we go. There's a basic step. I'm going to turn this up a little bit so I can hear. There we go. So good morning, everybody. It's the best way to start your day. Dancing. Pow wow. Exercising. Man. Hit the ground running, man. The early bird gets to work. So good morning, everybody. Happy Holidays! Happy Hanukkah! All that stuff. 
know. All right, one more song for the warm up. All right. So this is the basic step. This is the warm up. And after this, we're gonna stretch. basic steps here for powwow you know I try to keep it easy for everybody because it's not like I'm in competition with anybody for anything this for me this is about exercise or I use powwow style dancing for cardio you know because traditionally well in most warm-ups that I've done in the past I always start out with, with a little jog and then a stretch and that's how I learned how to do proper warm-up but the warm up's really important because then you, you obviously warm up your muscles and you get them uh, primed, I guess, for stretching. And then the stretching is really important as well. Gotta get stretching. So now here's the stretching meditation part. All right, so now that we're sort of cooling down now, that first warm up, just just the right amount to get you sweating. So now that we're in the uh, stretching meditation phase, let's get stretching. So do this every day and you'll notice a big difference. When you get up in the morning, work out and stretch, then you set your day up, right? Like there's a big difference from doing this to not doing this and you know I, I I swear that this is what helped me stay healthy through this entire pandemic this is what helped me persevere in my career as a as an artist as a dancer and this is what uh, keeps me going so again let's keep stretching now if you care to join all right awesome this is helping Loosen up the, the upper body, and, and from here, lock your fingers together, try to pull them apart. Don't actually pull them apart. You should feel that stretch in the back of your shoulder blades, upper back, 
Give it a little twist from left to right. Oh, that feels good. Oh, especially after getting up, you know, like sometimes you might sleep funny and, you know. So anyways, keeping on the stretch. Stretching out the tricep muscle now. You can feel that circulation improving in your arm when you do this one. This is really good. I'm still sore from uh, working out earlier on this week. I've been doing a lot of weight training so that, but the best best way to get over your soreness is to, is to exercise and work through it. And don't push yourself too hard, like where you're hurting yourself, but um, definitely do like light workout cardio, like especially if you worked out hard the day before, you can work out kind of the same. And it's nonstop progress and process. So next we're going to stretch the neck. This one's really important to uh, do on a regular basis because your uh, brain needs oxygen and blood and uh, how that gets delivered is through your blood and the best way is through circulation. So this helps to improve the circulation. Oh yeah, I felt a little click there. And next stretch is hand on your shoulder. You should feel a nice stretch on your shoulder, deltoid and neck muscle and all this. Just by placing your arm here, it makes a big difference. All right. All right, how you guys doing? <laughs> all right, awesome. All right, so that's the neck part. Now uh, we just got to do a couple more stretches for the body, and we're going to aim your elbow to your knee. shot of water here so next we're going to work on uh, our legs so I always like to start off with the ankle I like working my way out out in so just uh, stretching the ankle right here doing some circles and same with this side well this side's a little tender this morning must have been all the snow out shoveling we had a ton of snow here. Well, not a ton, but we didn't have as much as the East Coast over there did. But we had we had enough. Finally, got enough snow. I can go snowmobiling. I can go skidooing. Fire up my skidoo today. I'm gonna go for a, I'm gonna go for a joy ride. I'm gonna go ride around. You know, there's other things you can do in this pandemic. You can go out into nature. And there's no coronavirus in nature, in the trees, right? You can go out in the bush, there's nothing. That's where we should go, <laughs> you know? So, anyways, just saying that. But for those of you that are in the city, well, I guess you can go for nature walks there. They have green spaces there where you can be socially distanced. And, you know, especially in Edmonton or any other city I've ever been to, there's always a green space there, there's lots of space where you can go. We don't always have to be huddled together, hey? All right, just continuing on the stretches. Still kind of waking up this morning. <laughs> I woke up late. For once, I actually slept in a little bit. Felt good, but I was up late though. My, uh, Family had a late supper. You guys ever had a midnight supper? <laughs> I had a midnight supper last night. So, anyways, um, yeah, the next part I want to do. So we did uh, the warm up. We did the stretch. 
And now I want to do some strength training exercises with you. So this is where the 25 push-up challenge comes in. So if you want to try it out, definitely try out the 25 push-up challenge. You could also nominate your friends and family to do that as well on your profiles. Uh, if you're going to do this, definitely do hashtag 25 push-up challenge. And when you nominate somebody, basically you're just showing them that you care about their self-care and self-love and challenge them for that as well. So definitely it's, it's worth it because you're going to uh, strengthen your upper body by doing push-ups and you're going to build your confidence the more you do that. So that's, that's why I do it. I do these every day and uh, I never skip a day. <laughs> I've been doing this every day. The proof's in the pudding. Check out all the videos. You can see me do this every day. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do 25 push-ups now. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Let's see if I can go five more. 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Oh, yeah, that felt good. <sighs> My uh, chest is already sore because I was doing uh, bench presses and then kind of maxed out. <sighs> when you max out on your bench press, that's when you start to build muscle so you can do you can do more passive exercises with uh, weight training where you're not maxing out where you're just going for tone you don't really feel it as much but when you lift heavier that's when you're gonna feel it that's when you feel the the pain in your chest after in your muscles because you're basically tearing them up okay so now we're done with the strength training part also uh, We'll do some exercises with these, with the thermal bands. It's a good stretchy band here. So do a couple exercises with these as well. You can do your, your biceps, bicep curls. Five, or no, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm gonna start to burn a little bit. And then next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 12, 13, 14, 15. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh man, I'm just building up a sweat doing that. So if you guys tried that, do you feel it? Do you feel it in your arms? Because if you did, you're going to feel that. And, um, my recommendation is you can do that a bunch of times throughout the day. Uh, you do it in reps and sets, right? So those counts that I was doing, those are repetitions every time you do those. And then you do sets. So you can do, that's one set, everything they just did there, one set of all those counts. And when you do those sets, 
it helps you to organize and build and make progress on your fitness goals. So if you have fitness goals to tone your muscles and build your muscles, like my my muscles are getting a little bit more built more and more every day. Uh, I got different fitness goals. Everybody's got a di different level of fitness and goals. So I, I just share mine here on a regular basis. I'm sweating lots, so that's good. That's how I know I'm getting a good workout. And that's what you want. There's, there's uh, three ways to remove the toxins from your body. You already know the first two. The third one is actually sweating. So, right on. All right, let's get dancing. Luca. All right, just finding that rhythm.
a quick workout for today. So now I'm doing the, uh, the cool down part. And yeah, I'm gonna continue my workout with the weights. I already got a good, good, uh, good exercise this morning. And uh, yeah, I'm on my own exercise journey and like I'm not a personal trainer or anything like that. There's people that do that for a living though. You, know, you go to most gyms out there, they have personal trainers that can work with you with your fitness goals. And for myself, I've learned over the years to be my own personal trainer. Because all you need is a couple of lessons and your motivation just comes on from you. And it all has to come from you. Because you're the one that's got to follow through with it. So anyways, doing the uh, cool down now. And yeah, feeling great. I sweat. And that yeah, was a good workout. Nice and easy. You only need 20 to 30 minutes of exercise, like especially in the morning. And like if you want more exercise, you can do more yourself. You can dance to an entire album of your favorite drum group like Black Lodge, Black Stone, Black Bear. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of different groups out there. There's classic Ayabe or there's Midnight Express. Uh, there's a group called the Travelers, I think they're called. Um, yeah, there's Young Bear, Young Spirit, Northern Cree, Northern Voice. Jeez, uh, there's so many of them. Then you go down south and there's Yellowbird, there's uh, the Kozads. I think they're called Yellowtail or Scissortail. I don't know, I don't know all the uh, down south groups. There's a difference between southern style and northern style. Southern style is very different style of drumming and singing and song structure compared to northern style. <laughs> northern style, they'll always have those check beats on the second verse. And southern style, they'll have those, those check beats in the middle of the uh, two verses. So they're like... You know, they'll sing and then they have uh, those check beats in between. Oh, hey, Sarah. Nice to see you online this morning. Um, I was wondering where the song is, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay because, uh, uh, what, what is it? How does the saying go? Excellence and greatness and genius takes time. So, yeah, uh, Sarah and I are working on a song. So, right on. Thank you. Uh, I don't I don't have the link to Michelle Reed, so if you guys are asking me to post it, you're gonna have to find it yourself. Uh, I'm only the messenger. I you know I can only do so much on here, so you can find her and I'll spell it out for you. N, the letter N, and then the number eight. She spells it cleverly. That's how I spell native. I uh, <laughs> I've always spelled it that way, and I I like being creative like that with words. But you spell native, uh, N-8-I-V-E, uh, dance fitness. So check out Michelle Reed with the uh, native dance fitness. She's also posted up on the uh, social distance powwow. So yeah, sorry guys, I don't have, I only got two hands here and I'm busy dancing so I can't be posting links or anything, but all I can do is just relay the message. Check out Social Distance Powwow. That's where you'll find Michelle Reed and a lot of my classes are on there as well on a, re on a regular basis. So thanks, Dan, for uh, sharing that. And also, this is my Social Distance Powwow jacket. It's, uh, it's getting close to crunch time. Christmas is next week. Myself, I'm, I've never really been a big Christmas follower. I think uh, because when I was younger, like, I don't know, I, I, I grew up on the res, right? And there's some pretty harsh realities on the res. You know, it ain't what you see on TV, you know, like where, and I, I, and I don't just say the res, I mean like when you grow up poor, you, know, you see all these kids getting stuff and, uh, <laughs> and your wishes don't always come true. And so I just, 
I just, uh, you know, they, they teach you to believe in Santa when you're younger and then you don't get nothing. <laughs> so, anyways, for me it wasn't about that. Like, I learned to just appreciate the gift of, of life. Like, every day is a gift of life. I've always taught my kids that. I taught my children, you know, no, no, don't worry about this whole Christmas thing. You know, because every day should be about, should be like Christmas. You should, you should give, you should, you should spread that holiday cheer. You should, you know, kind of have that in mind. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't like perfect model citizen at doing that. But, you know, for, for me, Christmas is, it's not really something I want to perpetuate in my, my lifestyle. I, I don't want to create the false, false, um, hope of Christmas for me Christmas means getting families together and visiting but now we can't do that because of this pandemic so I think there's other ways we can do that you know we can we can just focus on our homes and making that a beautiful place a safe haven and and just spread that message in the universe that we that you know our family and our friends and everybody that we care about them and that's what I miss most about Christmas and I'm going to miss most about this year when celebrating Christmas. I'm going to miss going to visit family and they're saying don't do that this year. So so there you go. Christmas um, it it should be just all all from like from you from like your spirit of giving and the holidays. I think what I love best about Christmas is the lights and the decorations. It's a good reason to decorate. And yeah, I'm the worst gift buyer ever. I, I, I don't really, and I actually tell people don't buy me any gifts because I don't really want anything. I have everything, I have everything that I need and want. Why would I want more? You know, that's the problem with the, with the world sometimes is like, we get too much, we get too much junk. We get too much, um, you know, like that's why they have a show called Hoarders, Extreme Hoarders, right? People just hold on to plastic dreams. That's what I call it. So, anyways, I'm not about that. I, you know, I don't really care so much about. I have everything I need. You know, I have a vehicle. My deep freeze is full. My fridge is full. I got family around me. I got everything I want. Why could? Why would I want anything else? So my mom asked me yesterday. She's like, "What do you want? What do you want?" She always asks me every year. I, I always tell her nothing. And all I'm good. Even my son, I tell my son, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, nothing, because I, I had everything. So I was like, okay, get me a straw broom, okay? And she just laughs. What do you mean, get you a straw broom? Well, you asked me what I wanted, and I and I was like, oh, okay. And uh, yeah, she, <laughs> she kind of laughed at me. Straw broom, why would you want a straw broom? I'm like, because I don't have one. And you ask what I wanted. So I asked for a straw broom. Because they're good for cleaning up and getting in the corners and nooks and crannies. Those other brooms don't cut it. So that's what I asked for this year. That's all I want for Christmas is a straw broom. And family. And food. And friends. And enjoy the decorations. That's all I want. That's all I want is, is just to enjoy things. And enjoy my family. And enjoy all my friends. And just enjoy the, the love and joy of the holidays. That's all. That's all I want. And that's all there is to it. So, thanks again for joining me for another version of Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. I'll be back here again tomorrow, but I'm gonna be a little, little later, not not my usual 7.30 start time. On the weekends, I tend to take it easy a little bit, so I will be here a little bit later. Then I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Uh, probably do some hoop dancing stuff. So if you uh, hoop enthusiast or wanna do a little hoop jam with me, Check it out, bring your hoops tomorrow for tomorrow's class. So again, thanks for joining me. You guys have a beautiful, blessed day. And in the meantime and in between time, keep fit, have fun, and stay safe out there. We only got a couple more weeks. We're at the beginning of the end of the pandemic. And with a little time, effort, and patience, I think we'll be back to normal. And a new normal, a new, refreshed normal I guess I don't know like hopefully we're 
we're all better the next time around and, and uh, we make the world a better place. That's all I want to do is continue to contribute to make the world a better place. So with that, you guys have a good day. Keep fit. Have fun. Peace out.